Jeremiah 49. Concerning the Amorites, this is the other son of Lot. Thus saith the Lord. Funny how it doesn't say the Lord God of Israel. What we've been reading, the Lord God of Israel. Has Israel no sons? They do. Has he no heir? He does. Why then does their king inherit Gad, and his people dwell in cities? Therefore, behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, I will cause an alarm of war. You know, the, the warnings of war in Reba of the Ammonites. And these last few chapters have been the war, war, problems, troubles, tribulations. It shall be it shall be desolate heap. That's ruins after a battle. And you'll find that in Nehemiah with Jerusalem. Her daughters will be the offspring of the city, shall be burned with fire. Then shall Israel be heir unto them that were his heirs, saith the Lord. So evidently Ammon is in Israel's territory. And God is going to give back Israel what is hers. But notice how it says desolate heaps and, and fire burned in the cities. That's what happened to Jerusalem. And what happened to Jerusalem, God's people, is going to help, is going to happen to the nations that are not God's. How, O Heshman? For Ai is spoiled, conquered. Cry ye Doris Ribba, gird you with sackcloth, lament, sadness, sorrow, run to and fro by the hedges. For their king shall go into captivity, and his priests, that's not the Levites, that's not the Jewish priests. That's the priests of the gods and his princes together. Wherefore glory is thou in the valleys, O flowing valley, O backsliding daughter that trusted in her treasures, her wealth, her fame. That's what America does. She trusts in her wealth, saying, Who shall come unto me? That's what America says. Behold, I will bring a fear upon thee, anxiety. We're living in a fear today in the world. Why? People are afraid of a virus. People are afraid they're wearing masks. People are afraid that if I get the shot, if I don't get the shot, those who don't get the shot, those who get the shot, there's this fear upon fear of no fear of fear itself. But there is no fear of the Lord. Save the Lord God of hosts, and that host is all that God created. From all those that be about thee, Ye shall be driven out every man right for him. God's going to clear it out. And none shall gather up him that wandereth. Afterwards I will bring to captivity the children of Ammon. That's an interesting statement. Saith the Lord. We saw the return of the captivity of the children of Moab. Now Ammon. Lot's children. Lot got a particular blessing because of his uncle Abraham who prayed for him. It was Abraham praying that Lot got out of Sodom before the angels and God destroyed the city. Concerning Edom, that's Esau. That's Jacob's brother. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Is wisdom no more in Teman? And Teman was known. For wisdom. I'm trying to think that one of Job's friends. He was either of Eden or Ishmael. Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is there wisdom vanished? So there was a wisdom in Edom. Flee ye. Turn back. Dwell deep into the rocks and the caves. 
O inhabitants of Dedan. For I will, God, bring the calamity of Esau upon him. The time that I will visit him. There's that word visit. Examples. If great gatherers came unto thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they had enough? There would be something left over. But I have made Esau bear God speaking. I have uncovered his secret places. And he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed, his children are spoiled. His brethren, his neighbors, he is not. Now Esau has cursed Israel, his, his brother. I will curse them that curse thee. Esau, when Babylon comes in, captures Jewish people, Hebrew people, and brings them to the, the Babylonian army. And I believe is it Obadiah deals with one of, one of the minor prophets deals with Esau, you're done with. Leave thy fatherless children. I will preserve them alive and let thy widows trust in me. So there is some hope. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink the cup, that's wrath, judgment, Every nation has that cup. Israel has that cup. And it's a cup called the tribulation. Jacob's trouble. America has that cup. England. All the nations. Mystery Babylon has that cup. Art thou he that shall all together go unpunished? That's what America thinks. Nothing's going to happen to us. There are American Christians. Notice how America's first. Then Christians. They absolutely believe in their heart that the democracy and the American government are going to be in the eternal life. They think that from out of heaven come new Jerusalem, new heavens, new earth, and America. And some would even believe that Donald Trump is the fourth member of the Trinity. But thou shalt surely drink of it, that cup. Jesus Christ had the cup. It's not death. It's a cup of the wrath of God. For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, God swearing by himself. You can't get no higher than God. And Basra shall be a desolation. A reproach, a waste. Nothing. A curse. Because they curse Israel. And all the cities thereof shall be a perpetual waste. Plural. I have heard a rumor from the Lord, an ambassador sent unto the heathen, non Israel, saying, Gather ye together, come against her, and rise up to battle, some kind of an army. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen. No, pop no population, not a lot of people, and despise thee among men. Thy terribleness shall deceive, has deceived thee. You think you're so great, you think you're so wonderful. America. And the pride of thy heart, O thou that dwells in the cliffs of the rocks, and they dwell in a mountainous rocky area. Petra is where Esau is. Thou holdest the height of the hill. Thou shouldst make thy nest as high as the eagle. America's symbol is a bald eagle. And all actually, the symbol of America should be a plucked chicken, fried chicken, naked woman. I will bring thee down from thence, say of the Lord. God will do that to America. Also, Edom shall be desolation, empty. Everyone that goes by it shall be astonished. What on earth happened here? And shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. All the plagues. We got worldwide plagues today. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, which happened in the time of Lot that brought us Ammon and Moab, the neighboring cities thereof were just more than Sodom and Gomorrah. 
saith the Lord, no man shall abide there. Neither shall a son of man dwell in it. That's Esau, Edom. Sail preacher, they showed there's not many people that live there. It's an abandoned city waiting for the people of Israel. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan. The devil's called a lion. Against the habitation of a strong Esau. But I will make I will suddenly make him run away from her. The lion. And who is the chosen man that I may point over her who is like me? Well, I know somebody who's like Jesus, but is against Jesus, called the Antichrist. And there's many comparisons between Jesus and the Antichrist. Who will appoint me the time? Who is that shepherd that will stand before me? Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord that he has taken against Edom and his purposes that he has purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate, empty with them. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall. At the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. Listen, by the time Israel got to Jericho, harlot, the harlot, Rahab, told us, we've heard what God's done to you in the Red Sea. we heard what God's done. You don't need radio and television for news to go out. Behold, he shall come up and fly as an eagle, swift, spread her wings over Bosra, and at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. That's a tribulation passage. Somehow, somewhere. Concerning Damascus, Paul was on the road to Damascus. Hamath is confounded in our path, for they have heard evil tidings, words, news. Tidings is news. They are faint hearted. There is sorrow on the sea. It cannot be quiet. Damascus is wax feeble. Turn herself to flee. She's on the run. And fear has seized on her. Anxiety. That's where the world's at today. Anguish and sorrows have taken her. As a woman with travail. Again, there's that tribulation application. How is the city of praise not left? The city of my joy. Therefore, young men shall fall in their streets. And all the men of war army shall be cut off in that day. Particular expression in the Bible. In that day is the day of the Lord. Saith the Lord of hosts. I will kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus and it shall consume the palaces of ben -Hadad. Concerning Kadar. Now, if you run to, to Song of Solomon chapter 1, the bride of, of Solomon, she is from Kadar. Concerning the kingdoms of Hazor, which Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, shall smite, as in happy net, saith the Lord. Arise ye, go to Kadar, and spoil the men of the east. Their tents and their flocks shall they take away. They shall take to themselves with they shall take to themselves their curtains, which makes the tents, and all the vessels and the, their camels, and they shall cry unto them, fear is on every side. That's today. Flee. Get you far off, deep, dwell deep, 
inhabitants of Hazar, saith the Lord. For Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, has taken counsel against you. He's got military plans against you. And has conceived a purpose against you. Arise, get you up into the wealthy nation that dwelleth without care. Say of the Lord, which had neither gates nor bars. Ooh, that describes a certain nation which dwell alone. And their camels shall be a booty, and the multitude of their cattle a spoil. I will scatter into all winds them that are most quarters, east, west, south, and north. I will bring their calamity from all sides thereof, saith the Lord. Hazar shall be a dwelling for dragons, lizards, reptiles, and desolation forever, emptiness. There shall no man abide there, nor any the son of man to dwell in. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah the prophet against, where is the word of the Lord of Israel, the God of Israel? Elam, in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, the king of Judah. So Babylon has not conquered Jerusalem yet. It's almost, Zedekiah is the last king. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, not the God of Israel, I will break the bow of Elam and the chief of their might, the best of their soldiers. And upon Elam will I bring the four winds of the four corners of heaven, north, east, south, and west. I will scatter them toward all the wind, those winds. And there shall be no nation whether the outcasts of Elam shall not come. I will cause Elam to be dismayed before their enemies. And before them that seek their life. I will bring evil upon them. Even my fierce anger, saith the Lord, I will send the sword after them till I have consumed them. It's God speaking. It's God using enemies and military to destroy people. I will set my throne in Elam. I will destroy from thence the king and the princes, saith the Lord. But it shall come to pass in the latter days, I will bring back the captivity of Elam, like Moab and Ammon, saith the Lord. Last latter days. 